Soap-based web services, while still serve a purpose, are bloated, hard to consume directly from a client-side app, and are bound by a hard contract. REST services, on the other hand, have been a go-to choice for developing services consumed by web applications due to the lightweight JSON responses and soft contract. What I mean by soft contract is REST services aren't bound to a WSDL, but still have a contract in which you need to ab abide by um, or have an aversion strategy in place. Using Spring Boot as a foundation, let's build our simple REST web service. While not overly exciting, lots of folks are familiar with insurance. Insurance agencies sell policies to policyholders. Let's say we want to get all the possible agencies we can purchase a policy from. We will make a request to agencies. We will use Spring SDS to create a project from a new Spring Starter project. We will select a web project which will include the necessary dependencies in our palm.xml. Depending on your philosophy of building services, you could return a domain object from your business logic layer or create a class that represents the resource a client is requesting. In our case, Let's create an agency resource object that contains a small subset of an agency object. Next, we need something to handle the request and direct it to a method for processing. Within Spring, HTTP requests are handled by a controller. These components are identified by at controller annotation. The request mapping annotation ensures that the HTTP requests to agencies are mapped to the get agencies method. A key difference between a traditional MVC controller and a RESTful web service controller is the way that the HTTP response is created. Rather than delegating to the view layer, we want the object written directly to the HTTP response as JSON. To accomplish this, the response body annotation on the get agencies method tells Spring MVC that it does not need to look for a view and the list of agencies can be returned directly to the response. Before the Java object can be sent to the response, it needs to be converted to JSON. This is done by the HTTP message converter, specifically Jackson's mapping Jackson to HTTP message converter that is picked up on the class path. If you're not familiar with Jackson, Jackson is a library to marshal and unmarshal JSON. Before we get running the application, we will create some sample data that we can send in a response. In Spring 4, it introduced a REST controller, which is a controller and a resource body in one, which eliminates the need to specify a response body on each of your methods. The default starter project was nice enough to create an application class. Let's break down what is happening in Spring. The main method defers to the Spring application helper class, providing the application.class as an argument to run. This tells Spring to read the annotation metadata from the application and to manage its components in the Spring application context. In other words, it is used to bootstrap and launch the Spring application from the Java main method. This might look a little bit different than a traditional way to deploy an app to an application server. The component scan annotation is used to look and locate other Spring mains within the demo package. This directive ensures that Spring finds and registers the agency controller as it is marked with the controller annotation, which is a type of a component. The Enable Auto Configuration annotation is a class that enables Spring Boot Convention Over Configuration, which enables default behaviors by scanning the class path. For example, as we noted above, a Java object will be marshaled to JSON by Jackson. This is because Spring Boot found Jackson in the class path. In addition, since the project depends on Spring MVC, a Spring MVC dispatch servlet is configured and registered for you through the dispatcher servlet auto configuration class. Right clicking on the project and running the class will start the application in a Tomcat container. Navigating to localhost 8080 agencies, we will perform a git and it will return a list of agencies. Thanks for joining in today's Level Up Lunch. Have a great day.